Okay, so um, I've gone ahead and um, created a, a brand new um, project where uh, we're gonna start writing our own um, tutorial plugin basically, okay? So um, right now as you can see, it, everything's empty and when I submit, um, nothing works, of course, because we do not have the plugin in, um, created already. So I'm gonna do it back and we're gonna go to our text editor. All right, so basically um, I've gone ahead and added some boilerplate HTML code in here. Um, so basically we have a form um, and um, the form is styled using Twitter bootstrap. So I've added an ID there of uh, my form. So these are all Twitter bootstrap specific. I'll add this in the links below um, for this tutorial uh, so that you can uh, quickly follow along. But um, just to make this uh, quick and um, concise, basically we have form groups, um, another form group for the email and another one for the password and a last one for the submit button. And I've added in all these classes here so that they look nice as they have done in the browser. All right. So I've gone ahead and linked to jQuery, which I downloaded from the jQuery website. Um, so I put it in a folder jQuery uh, JS um, forward slash jQuery dot JS. And um, I've created another file called jQuery dot validate dot JS. And that's where our plugin is going to live. So we're going to implement all the plugin in there. And in here, we're going to um, instantiate our plugin. So right now, we're going to have to do something like this. Um, so we do hash my form. That is the form up here with the ID of my form. And then we're going to call dot jQuery validate. Okay, so this is going to be our plugin instance. And then we're going to have to pass in two mandatory options for now. Um, later, you can extend it to be anything um, you want like in terms of options. But now we keep it simple. So there's only two things we need to pass. One is um, the server file that is going to validate um, our form data. So in this case, we just keep it simple. We say server.php. And then we're going to have to say success callback. Okay, so valid callback, basically. It's going to be a function if the um, jQuery um, has validated our form data properly from the server, then we're just going to call that. In this case, let's do alert and then um, let's do form is valid. Okay. So I'm running this within a PHP server. So basically, um, make sure this project is loaded in a server uh, so that you can access it uh, using php because we're going to be writing a server side um, script all right so first thing you need to do is um, start up uh, create a new file called server.php right so let's leave it empty for now so first thing we need to do is let's go into our jquery.video.js file and start our plugin all right so first let's create a self-executing function and then we'll do function and then we're going to execute it instantly immediately so we pass in the jquery um, global handler jquery and then up here we accept it as a parameter all right so the first thing we need to do is let's do dollar dot fn so we go adding our um, plugin name to the jquery plugin um, um, handlers okay so we do jquery validate equal to function and then it's going to accept an option so basically this option here is whatever we're passing here as uh, an object so this object here will be passed by jquery to our plugin um, function here okay so um if we want to have access to this element it is this so when you do this here it means actually the form that we have selected in here okay so you don't have to use um dollar sign like this when you're in this function all you need to do is this so we're going to return this so that um if you want to chain onto that um function call here you can do so easily all right it's good practice to do that so first thing we need to do is let's um create another function inside here and then we pass in the option and the element to that so let's call it first so let's say new um jquery validate okay first thing we need to pass in is element okay so ent and then options okay so this function here is similar to this but um, this one is capital and this one isn't all right so let's create a function up here let's do function and then jquery um, validate and this is going to accept two parameters elements and options okay so yeah this needs to be in here okay so let's set um this dot element equals to element next this dot options equals to options okay 
So we are setting that as an instance of this class. 